Welcome, peatland lovers! I'm Susanne Abel from the Greifswald Meyer Center, located in the northeast of Germany. And. Hello, my name is Bas Spaniers. I'm from the Environmental Agency of the Federal State of Brandenburg. We brought you here into the Rienloch, a very big peatland area about 50 kilometers northwest from the city of Berlin. And the area is used since the 17th century where peat was extracted to produce fuel for the city of Berlin. Then in the 20th century the intensive use started, the hydrology was changed massively uh, for the intense agriculture. In the past, before the whole cultivation of this area started, this these meadows there used to be at the same level as the river Rhine here. And all these problems have been intensified due to climate change. Brandenburg is one of the driest areas in Germany. This is peat. This is peat, but it's so dry. Due to these developments, uh, Brandenburg is looking for alternative strategies uh, to manage the peatland. And the measure in all these management strategies is raising the water level. The peat must be wet again, or how the Germans say, more muss nass. One alternative strategy uh, for this peatland um, is to establish paludicultures. Here, um, cattail, uh, then reed, reed canary grass, and um, a larger area of wet meadows. One of the biggest challenges in this project is the hydrology. So we did a little experiment. Uh, we just closed all the wires here. Um, and we monitored all the water levels. And we wanted to see if we could store the winter water in the whole area. Unfortunately, there was, a la yeah, there was not so much precipitation. March was really wet, but April was already really dry. So, I hope that it's, it's gonna rain. <laughs> so we have uh, another important uh, challenge in this project, and this is a financial one. So the paludicultures must be attractive for the farmers. We need the farmers to implement the paludiculture. And what is attractive for the farmer? They need to earn enough money with their yields. But for these special wetland products, uh, there are not so many um, already existing markets so we have to establish them and uh, one idea for example is the production of these uh, cattail boards typho boards and uh, these cattails are very good for building building materials because they have these special erenkuma um, a tissue that brings the oxygen uh, from the leaves into the waterlogged soils. Through the wetting of the peatlands, the farmers are reducing the high greenhouse gas emissions from the formerly drained peatlands. So they are doing active climate protection. Luckily in Brandenburg there is an agri environmental climate measure to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions from agricultural used peatlands. The farmers get an additional annual payment rate of 387 euro per hectare when they raise the water level to a specific height. So for us one thing is clear, we have to store the winter water for the dry summers here in Brandenburg. So the peatlands must be wet. And only if we can store this winter water we can use it in the summer to establish these paludicultures. And hopefully we can show you next year a new video with our nice paludicultures. Hope to see you next year and if you want to have more information just visit our website or just visit us in Brandenburg. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>